What's up guys? Thanks for tuning into my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be making one of my favorite recipes. It is a smoked salmon omelet. Now before I get started, I want to talk to you about the equipment and ingredients. So first thing is my pan. My pan is a heavy bottomed, very hefty nonstick pan. Uh, the heaviness is important because it's going to keep the temperature uh, at a consistent but at a low heat. I'm going to need two bowls. One's going to be for my eggs, one's going to be for my filling. You need a whisk for your eggs. You can use a fork but I recommend a whisk. And a spatula for stirring the eggs as well as mixing my ingredients for my omelet. Now my ingredients are already chopped, ready to go, they're at room temperature, so let's talk about them. So we have smoked salmon, fresh dill, creme fraiche, organic farm fresh eggs, capers, red onion, uh, whole grain mustard, and salt and pepper. Alright, so to get the omelet started, the first thing I want to do is set my pan over the lowest possible setting. I've already had done this for about five minutes now, so at home I recommend doing it for about seven to eight minutes. What this will do, it will gradually heat the pan uh, evenly. Uh, a lot of novice cooks tend to put the pan on full whack right away, and what that does is it creates hot spots in the pan, so when you go to put your eggs in, you get all these brown spots, and I don't like any color of my omelet in a classically, you know, classic restaurant, kitchen, they will not tolerate that, so slow cooking, low to my, uh, medium heat is how you, uh, you get success with an omelet. So next thing are my eggs. My eggs I pulled out of the fridge about you know, 20 minutes ago, so they're at room temperature. Uh, again, this will allow them to cook more evenly, and, and I, I won't get the, uh, the tough rubbery spots and brown spots. Now, these eggs are organic, farm-fresh, uh, free-range uh, eggs. The chickens are on a much better diet when they're free-range as opposed to industrial chickens, so that leads to a much, richer, much more rich yolk and uh, just a, a better quality fat. It'll actually contribute to the flavor and the tenderness of the uh, omelet itself. So again, I'm not adding any liquid, any cream, nothing, uh, just pure eggs. I'm going to be adding some cold butter to the eggs when I put them in the pan, but not yet. So just my eggs, whisk, you know, you want to see no traces of white, uh, it's all like a homogenous mixture, it's not, you know, it's all looks the same, it's pale throughout, good enough. So now I'm going to add about a tablespoon or so of oil to my pan. Um, again, you don't want to get the fat too hot because your, your eggs will just fry, and that's not what I'm looking for. Uh, you want to slowly cook them. It will give it a much more puddingy texture, um, almost like a custard. Okay. So while my oil is getting slightly warmer, what I'm going to do is go ahead and make my filling. So I'll start with my salmon. That's about three ounces of salmon smoke that I chopped up ahead of time. Um, you, know, you definitely don't want to be doing that as, you're make, as your omelet's cooking. Dill. My red onion. If you don't like onion, if you like onion, if you love onion, you know, again, you could use your discretion at this. You don't have to follow this recipe to a T. I think it's great exactly the way it is. But uh, again, at home, mess around with it. You know, it's just a theme. You don't have to follow it verbatim. And then I'll put a little bit of mustard in there. Somebody's calling me. Popular guy. All right, so I'm mixing the salmon with the capers, the dill, the red onion. I'm not going to add salt because the smoked salmon has already been brined and cured, so it's, it's pretty salty as it is. Okay, looks like my pan's about ready. So what I'll do now is I'm going to add my eggs. Now. Notice my eggs didn't sizzle. You do not want your eggs to sizzle. You want to cook them slowly. I cannot emphasize that enough. That is the key to a great omelet. So now that it's going, I'm going to stir it. Make sure that it's not sticking anywhere, not browning, not cooking too hard. Slow and low. Okay. Get my spatula off. Now here's a little trick for you. What I did was I threw some diced cube butter in the freezer so the butter is super cold and what it's going to do is going to slowly melt and dissolve into the eggs itself um, as opposed to uh, you know just getting it hot and bubbling in the pan again we're infusing and emulsifying fat into the omelet itself so you know being careful if you see that it's starting to cook too quick and unevenly in certain spots just slide it off the pan don't panic 
You don't want too much steam. You can actually see the steam coming off the eggs. That means they're getting way too hot. So this recipe is a little time consuming. You know, it's not as quick as, you know, blasting your pan, dumping the eggs in, you know, folding it in half. But here's the thing. You want to make an omelet, you know, not scrambled eggs with a bunch of stuff in it. Okay, back on the heat. As you can see, my omelet is starting to uh, set up now. The curds are nice and small. Um, you know, I'm going to let it kind of chill out for a minute. I'm going to take my stuffing. Okay. Now imagine if the pan, if the, the pan handle is facing you at 6 o'clock. I'm going to start with the filling and go from 9 to 3. I'm like, just like on the hands of a clock. Straight across. Now, you know, some chefs, some restaurants, they make you literally take the omelet out and roll it in a towel. I'm going to show you a kind of a, a trick that you can do at home um, where you'll get the same effect without, you know, literally having to sit there and, and coax an omelet in a, uh, in a towel. So, all right, so my, you can see what it's doing here. There's no color. I'm going to turn my heat down. Now, an omelet, contrary to popular belief, should be a little runny. You don't want it completely dry because eggs uh, will actually do what's called carry over cook um, when, when, even though it's not on the heat anymore it's actually will continue to cook on its way to the table so that's something you want to be mindful of you want to you know turn the heat off just before it's done so now what I'm going to do is make sure that none of the eggs are stuck around the uh, side of the pan um, and actually the fact that you put the butter in there uh, and a little bit of the oil that's going to help it release and, and not stick so Make sure you put enough oil in the pan when you get started. So first things first, I'm going to pick the pan up and just gently fold it over. Okay. One. Now I'm going to tilt it back, kind of spackle it down like this. Bang. Just like that. Now you can see there's no color, small, even curds. Omelet is cooked perfectly evenly. I have a, pan, uh, a plate warming in the oven. I'm going to push my omelet to the front of the pan. It'll make it easier when I go to invert it onto the plate. Take with an underhand grip, upside down, right onto the plate. Very minimal coloring. You know, ideally I wouldn't have had any, but look, things happen in the kitchen. They don't always come out perfect, but I guarantee you this thing is going to be super tasty. That was my perfect omelet with smoked salmon. If you like the recipe, go check out my blog at my uh, website, www.chefjamesavery.com. Be sure to check me out on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. Uh, if you have any questions, hit me up, email me, comment, whatever you want to know. If there's a recipe you want to see me do, let me know. I'll be more than happy to do it. Until next time, guys, see you around. Organic uh, free range chickens. Jeez.